333,333,331. This is my favorite number greater than 1 million, which I have dibbed the prime composite number. The prime composite number is so great because it picks apart a pattern of prime numbers. Here's what I mean. 31 is a prime number, along with 331, 3,331, 33,331, and so on. Such a pattern might make somebody like the Prime Minister conclude that all such integers with threes in every place value but the ones place are in fact primes. The Prime Minister would be correct, that is, up until the prime composite number. It turns out that the prime composite number is equal to 17 times 19,607,843. Of course, making it not prime. Any competent computer could tell you that in a matter of picoseconds, but the cool thing is that it can be shown by hand. See, there exists a divisibility rule for 17 that works like this. You remove the last digit of a number, multiply it by 5, and subtract what remains by the result. Then check if this new number is divisible by 17. Here's some examples. The proof of this rule comes about from a few different facts. First off, if we subtract two numbers and get a multiple of 17, then that means if one of them is a multiple of 17, then the other is. Intuitively, what this means is that if we end up with groups of 17 and subtracted groups of 17, then we must have started with groups of 17. Note that this is also true if we end up with zero or negative groups of 17, which also holds for our divisibility rule. The next thing to note is that if some number m is divisible by 17, then 10 times m is also divisible by 17. You could imagine any amount of groups of 17 being replicated 10 times and still being groups of 17. The last thing to consider is that we can rewrite any whole number as its ones place plus 10 times all the other place values. Here's some examples to explain what I mean. Now we can bring it all together. Fact 3 tells us that any number can be rewritten as 10a plus b. So when we ask if a number is divisible by 17, we're really asking is 10a plus b divisible by 17? We can then write the following true equation. Notice that the right side of the equation is divisible by 17 because 51 is divisible by 17. Thus, by fact 1, if one of the subtrahends is divisible by 17, than both are. Finally, by fact 2, if a minus 5b is divisible by 17, then 10a minus 50b is divisible by 17. Compiling all this, we have is a minus 5b is divisible by 17, then our number must be divisible by 17, which is what we sought out to prove. To show off the power of this rule, I applied it recursively to the prime composite number, and we in fact got the desired result. To me, the prime composite number is so interesting because it reveals the weakness of relying on inductive reasoning. Math is so beautiful because you are able to prove something like the divisibility rule for 17, and know that it's true not in virtue of evidence, but instead in and of itself.